Yes or no? So we thought of fine, okay, let's introduce some concepts. And if there are missing notes, we will go back and do what? And revisit that. No worries. So for now, before we actually start, there are, there are a couple of things that just came to my mind. And I thought we should address that before we, you know, uh, welcome our GUI class. Okay. So don't worry, we are going to do that today. So we look at some missing notes. So in this uh, search function, when we actually use this, there is something I want to introduce and we will do that practically. And we look at split method or split function presenting our what? Regular expression model. And we look at this sub, okay? And then match using the match object. And you see how, I mean, when we say it's going to return a match object, we will have to see what we mean by a match, a match, uh, a, 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 an object, okay? So no worries. And lastly, we see this string function. So after this is done, this shouldn't take us more time because we have dwelt more on regular expressions in detail yesterday. Then we will now welcome this. All right. So we have to look into this. So yay. All right. So on day one, I mean, day one of what? 31. 31 days of December. Yes or no? So we want to start with this. Okay. So that after we are done, we will see if we can kind of uh, introduce the concept of maybe, maybe if we have time, okay, if, because I'm thinking we are kind of ahead of the schedule. So if we have time, we can introduce you to the concept of what we're programming. Using what? At least. Let's not look into Django. Using what? Flask. Fine. No worries. Guys, I hope you can see this. Okay. So this is what we plan covering. The search, the split, the sub, the match, and the string. No worries. So let's start before we get into GUI programming using things that. So one of the things that actually we wanted to know, please look at this first program. Okay. It's training in Nigeria now. Yes or no? So when we say what, we want to know at the first occurrence of a white space. At the first occurrence of a white space, print the word index location. I hope you're able to follow. Now, run this. Oh, sorry. My think that program, I didn't close it. One minute. Yes, I should close this. I should comment it out. That's what I meant. I should comment it out. Fine. Get back here. And you see here, all right? So when I execute, when I run this now, oh, okay. I should have printed this, right? It's running, but nothing is here. I should have printed it okay so here print what the first white space i hope you got the point we have studied all these things yesterday character is at which located in which position we use this method extra start okay guys fine so print this now and you will see at which location what is the white space actually we are looking for this okay using this escape sequence we are looking for white space so white space is here zero one this is the first white space yes or no two yes or no fine so when we run this now, you're going to see the first white space is located at position 2. So this is something that we did not see yesterday, this start method or start function. So this is done. Let's move to the next example. Right. So I think I start commenting now from here only. The next example says, when a match is not found, you got the point? When a match is not found, what will it return? It should return none. Okay. Indians are very friendly people. Everybody agrees to that. Yes or no? Now, I'm going to... Another word for friendly, maybe any synonym for friendly is jovial. Okay. It mustn't be jovial, actually. Maybe you can be accommodating. Okay? Or you, you have highly tolerant. I give you... I will give you guys chocolate for that. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, Indians are very friendly people. So, I'm searching for jovial. Jovial is not contained in this string. Yes or no? So, what will it return? It returns none. Fine. All right. Clear the console. Let's continue. Next example. The split method or the split function. Okay. We have seen this actually. So, it's going to return it as a list. So, I like this actually. If you are coming from Bangalore, you will see in between, welcome to the Heritage City, my soul. Goodbye from the HD city, my sir. So, yes, my sir, Tumba Chanagiri. All right. Very beautiful city. One of the cleanest city in India. So, run. It returns it as a list. Splitting it at the occurrence of every white space. Okay, every white space character. So, this is done. All right. 
Next example. Let's use maximum split because when we call this, uh, guys, observe this properly. Uh, let me undo this. Please look here, guys. So here, when we actually set split, how many arguments can it take at default? At the first occurrence of a white space, I'm just looking at this string, okay, and splitting it. Now, by default, it's called split comma zero. Okay, so this is a parameter saying split it at the first occurrence of okay now actually zero is not the first occurrence of a string okay one is actually at the first occurrence of a white space character that's what i'm referring to but by default it's going to split it it's going to split it watch here guys just watch i will keep this console let me clear this again and just leave this so that we compare both so you see here welcome to the city city my son no worries now i'll comment this guy out now check this okay so here you see here the silicon valley of india now what happens here the will be split and then you expect okay silicon valley of india to be another word a sub word that is contained in this string actually a substring that is contained in this string the silicon valley of india got the point all right see the behavior now you see here the is split no worries yes the first occurrence of a white space split it now it's done so there are now two words words in this string the string is a sentence consisting of four words the silicon five words body of india now here the first occurrence of a white space here it splits it so i have the as a word and then i have silicon valley of india as another word you can actually make out and because it's enclosing single quotes here Yes, it's a substring of the main string. Now, let's increase this now. Let's leave this to zero and compare, okay? F5. So, you see, actually, there is no difference between this and whatever we're seeing here. Welcome to the city of my soul. I should have printed it back, okay? It's the same thing. So, it's like when you don't pass an argument, it's going to split it at the occurrence of every white space. So, this is done. Now, let's see if we are going to run get in what index out of bound exception. So, how many was the length of this one? I mean... At every white space, right? So, how many uh, words can be get can be formed from this sentence, okay, or this string? One, two, three, four, and five. So we have seen with splitting with one, yes or no? Okay. So we seen splitting with one. Let's split with two. All right. So with two, what is the behavior? The silicon. No worries. So three will give us the silicon value and then of India will be one together. Then four, we split everything as if it is what zero again. So let's look at three. F5. You got the point, the silicon value, then of India together. Now call four is similar to saying split of zero or not even passing any other parameter. F5, the silicon value of India. Done. So no more split is possible, right? Sorry, I wanted four. I went on a type zero. So no more that split is available, right? Or done now what if i say split eight or split nine is this going to give me an error make a wide guess no yes okay so no error because it says c i'm already done actually so whatever you see there i'll just treat as a garbage okay so just discard that now this is done let's move to the next stuff so these of sub function okay so it says the city that never sleeps which city is that? I think is, is it Kolkata or Mumbai? Guys, can you tell me which city that never sleeps? Is it Kolkata or Mumbai? Okay, nobody wants to say anything. It's fine. So I think it's Mumbai or Kolkata. I think the I don't know. I think it's Mumbai. All right. So whatever it is, let it be. Now I want at the occurrence of every white space character, I want to replace it with star. So that there won't be any white space here. Okay. That's what this is going to give. So I will just run this. And this is what we have the city that never sleeps. Each white space now, occurrence of every white space, is being replaced with what? Star. Done. Next. Now, when I'm going to use this sub make function, okay? Same thing we use here, right? I need to take an extra argument. Mumbai, thank you. It's Mumbai, thank you. So, so I'm going to say, please listen. I need the city done that it will come okay, at the second location. You got my point? So look at the behavior. 
f5. So you see here, does cc, okay? Then that never sleeps, nothing gets replaced here. Only the first two occurrences of what? The white space replace it. So how many white spaces are here? Three. That's one, two, four, three and four, okay? So if I want to populate all, it seems now saying that star and not passing any of further arguments. But if I say four now, it's going to give me the same thing, right? The city that never sleeps. So it's the same thing as saying, not, not passing any argument at all, okay? And saying, and calling the same thing here as above. You got the point? What happens when I say, okay, fine. Four I know is the maximum. Put six. What will happen now? See? Same thing. Whatever happens, comes after that, is treated as no value. No worries. Empty. Okay, this is done. Now, let's move to the next example. So, using this match, please listen. What exactly am I saying, actually? Look here. I'm searching for a part of the string. See, I'm using the search method, no worries. But I'm looking for only my interest is in what? Part of a word. So, part of a word, it can be a character now. It can be uh, multiple characters also. So, what am I interested in? I'm not interested in CT now. I'm interested in IT. Is IT present in this city? So since I'm searching for this, it's going to return an object. So how do how is it different now? It will be actually called, you will see it to be called an object. So let's look at this. So you see here, and look at one thing here, one funny thing here. It gives it calls this method span, okay, or this function span, and say it spans from five to seven. What does this mean actually? And the exact match is IT. Look here. Let's go search. Zero, index. One, two, three, white space. Four, yes or no? So five, I. Six, T. Seven excluded. Got it? So this is what happens, okay? Spanning five to seven, and the match was IT. So you can play with any other thing. Let's search for E. Please listen now. E is going to be funny here. I'm searching for only E. Now, guys, will it call this E or this E? or double e or this e so there are three occurrences of e right okay in this word e appeared twice but in various locations okay so there are four e's here actually one two three and four so will it give an error or is it going to give me which one the first occurrence of e second third or fourth or will it get confused okay so in this case now, it's going to give us the first occurrence of that letter in the word. All right. So which is the location? Oh, sorry. It's not even this one. I missed out this guy. Sorry. I missed out this. So this is the first occurrence of E. It's not even this one. So it's going to give me 0, 1, 2. I expected 2 to be there as an object in this case. Spanning 2 to maybe like uh, 3. Okay. Spanning 2 to 3 here. Okay. And then the match will be E. All right. So let's run this. And now you see, it spans 2 to 3. First occurrence of E, thank you so much. It spans 2 to 3, and the match is what? E. You got the point? So you mustn't, you can return anything, okay? Part of whatever, part of a string, okay? A substring, no worries. So this is done. Let's look into the next thing. So using this pan now to search for a word that starts with uppercase. So, right, begins with uppercase, and can contain word, or uh, which can include uh, numbers, strings, even an underscore. Okay, we've seen this yesterday. And has to start with what? S. The Scotland of India is Shillong. Okay. Is it Scotland of the West or Scotland of the East? I can't remember. So I said, okay, fine. Scotland of India is Shillong. Beautiful, right? Megalia. All right. So we are looking for S. Yes or no? So the first occurrence of S. Uh, sorry. We are searching for this S with, oh yeah, exactly, the first occurrence of this with an upper case, exactly. Okay, so we have it at two locations, Scotland and Shalom. All right, so now look at what it gives. So please look here. Now, that starts with an upper case, not, please listen. Look here, I did not use only what, uh, white space or use only upper case. Okay, so and contains this word or whatever an underscore now look here if you check here now you see the first occurrence was at index four so if you count if you count you see uh zero one two zero one two three four okay 
now 0 1 2 3 4 s okay now you've continue 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 the next white space is 12 and you know 12 is not included all right so it's actually returned the whole string the whole substring please listen it's returned the entire substring yes or no the index please the index location of the entire substring done and the last one before we start uh, i think that programming is this print with string please listen now i'm calling this string inside yes or no print method now scotland of india what do you think it will return will it return a list or will it return a string since i'm calling a string method here okay so to understand the oh sorry to understand the behavior print it it's going to return a list so you see here oh sorry ah uh, end of line why scanning yes okay page one six, sorry number one six five uh one six five okay this is there okay yep all right so i think i messed up something here okay this is done closed all right uh yes okay this should work clear this and then run this fine okay the scotland of india what did i tell you is gonna return you are not listening <laughs> Because we said a string, yes or no, guys? Remember, when we printed this, now to understand this behavior, let's print x. Okay? Let's print x. Now you see, this returned what? An object. Yes or no? Because it starts with this. And what was the match? Scotland. At which location? 4 to 12. Over. Now, but we converted it to a string. It's going to return a string only. Not what? A list. So it will return a string. And that's it. The Scotland of India. So on this note, I think uh, enough of substrings, I mean, enough of uh, regular expressions. Okay, so if we have any other thing, maybe application-wise, we can actually look into regular expression. So welcome to the world of GUI programming using Tinkta. Done. So for this, we need to understand certain things. So missing notes, done. And let's start with Tinkta. All right. Okay, so the first question is, I, have, I believe this is done, done, next, GUI programming. So, study, 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 done, and move to the next one. Introduction to GUI programming using so the question is okay how do we pronounce it is it thinking ta or think ta whatever okay so think ta think ta it doesn't matter okay guys so actually there is a way we write this in earlier version excuse me in earlier version of python in earlier version of python say python 2.7 you have to specify it as capital like t k i n t r Okay, that is like Python 2.7. Now, recent version of Python, you can say T K I N T R, small letter altogether. This is Python 3.0 and above. Okay, no worries. So it doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Call it Tinkta, call it Tikinta. It's fine, but you know what you're talking about. So first thing is this. Okay, when you talk of application programming, you should actually understand a couple of things, guys. So what is the difference between C U okay character user interface and graphic user interface? So we say G U I versus what cui very simple right cui character user interface so think of console based application console based what is console all these things we have been writing from the day one we started python right everything runs here that is console now we want something to run on the web or on uh, sorry we want something to run on a browser, okay, sorry, again, it's a confusion if I say on a browser. We want something to be printed in a, maybe like, a, in a container. Let me use container for now, because if I say web, is entirely different thing. If I say browser, is entirely different thing, okay? So, this can now, for now, is going to run in a container, okay? Container-based application, okay? Sir, so what is container-based now? App. So, in this, we have, we have the option to beautify our apps. 
to beautify our apps, our applications. Yes or no? So using some extended methods and some functionalities, using extended, external now, extended or external functionalities. Okay. So these functionalities are in form of what? Libraries, right? In form of what? Libraries. So we say libraries, no worries. Now, if you are looking for a well-defined or a well-formatted definition, let's try giving a definition. So what is this? This is docked out. So in this now, we say GUI, graphic user interface. For most of you that are starting, that are new to programming. Graphics means what? Images, icons, and stuff. Okay. It can also be, yeah, like high graphics images. No worries. Graphics is not graphics. You can call it graphical user interface. No worries. So it is what? A form of what? User interface. That means user interface interaction, right? Fine. User interface that allows the user that allows you to what interact with the computer, yes or no? Interact with the computer. Computer using what icons, menus, windows, etc. What is the advantage over CUI, character user interface? Advantage or merits over character user interface, CUI, character user interface. What's the advantage? Interface. Okay. What do you think might be the advantage? So to answer this, Let's assume I'm not using a mouse. Okay, guys. So you see here, flexibility, ease of access. Let me write some points, ease of access, right? Okay. Now, and it's kind of, what do I say? It's interactive, actually. It's, it's easy to interact with. Ease of access, interactivity, flexibility, or whatnot. Example, just imagine you trying to interact with your computer without a mouse. Just imagine that. So let's do something. Window D, I have come here. I need to open a file that is present in lab one. Please listen. In this lab one, there is a file called, uh, let me go to one Java file, okay? Classes, MCA, oh my goodness. Lab one, hello.class. So this is a file, which I don't know how it is. This file is actually dainty. Let's open a simple file, guys. Let's open a simple file. So I'm going to create a new something now. Folder. Okay, sorry. If I want to, I'm, I'm not using a mouse, guys. I'm not using a mouse. So see the problem here now. For most of us, it will be very difficult. Okay? At least, not. let me not generalize, but for some non-programmers, it's going to be very difficult to interact without a mouse. So I want to open what is on lab one. Can you see my desktop? Lab is there, labs is there, or lab one is here without a mouse. So I'm not going to shake this mouse, I leave it outside. I will use window. Now I'll type CMD, command prompt, enter. I'm not using mouse now, okay? So here I have, I'm using what we call the com, does Microsoft. You can see here, sorry, I went and I used mouse. Microsoft Corporation. This is my, my MS does prompt or my command prompt. So you can see there. Now, what I want to do, I need to use some command chain directly to desktop. I'm not using my mouse, guys. So in this now, I want to check what is on my desktop, right? I'll just type DIR to display whatever that is on the desktop. So my interest, sorry, I have to use mouse now to show you. My interest is to come to lab one and show you what is inside lab one, actually. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use mouse. Now, I will come. This is a typical example of your character user interface application. All right. So, here I will come here now. I will say CD. Since lab one is a directory, I have to change directory. By the way, directory in Microsoft does is known as what? Folders in what? Windows. So, this is fine. I'll say CD to what? Lab one. And you have to type this how it, as it is. Lab one. Enter. Now, it is there. I will say DIR. Now, these are all the things that is inside lab one. Yes or no? 
fine. I can now say CD to some stuff. Now you see, it's so funny. Yes or no, guys? There are no menus here. There are no icons. There are nothing here. So if I want to create, say, a folder on the desktop, look at this desktop. Easy, right? You right click, you see menu here. List of options. You go to new, folder. Now, if I want to do the same thing without a mouse, what I will do? I will say, okay, window. Then I'll type CMD, enter. Now I will go to desktop. B E S K T O P. Now I need to create a folder called what? Let's say uh, 50 days. Okay. So I'll call it Tinkta. Let me call it Tinkta now. I will say M directory. M D. Okay. Make directory called what? Or 50 days. Okay. Anything. 50 days. Now don't put space to avoid confusion. 50 days. Enter. It's there. How will I know if it is there? I have to type D I R here. Now you see 50 days is created. Did you see that, guys? 50 days is here. Okay, I have to use mouse to show you. If you're not sure, window D, and now you come back here, you see 50 days is created. I created this from my command prompt, okay? So don't worry, guys. So this is so funny, okay? Now, to delete it also, you can say RD, remove 50 days, no worries. But what you can do here, you right click here, you delete, yes or no? So fine. Enough of all this now. Now you see that there are so many advantages of you using what? Uh, uh, what? Uh, GUI over what? Uh, CUI. So this is it. So now the obvious question. What is Tinkta now? We know, right? GUI, CUI. So what is Tinkta? What is Tinkta? Okay. So answer. It is what? And inbuilt so we don't need to download any external application for instance if you start building complex applications like uh, maybe some to get into uh web programming excuse me using flask or django you have to download and some stuff okay but this is already inbuilt actually when you download and install python from python.org only so this is an inbuilt word Python model. So if it's an inbuilt Python model, we don't need to download and install anything. We only need to import it. Yes or no? Python model. That is used to create what? We got the point now. To create GUI applications. No worries. Fine. Another thing. It is most commonly used. So if it is most commonly used, that means there are other flavors of what models that exist for creating what applications okay no worries it's most commonly used what models for gui apps in python in python why why it's easy to use it's what easy to use okay and what hassle free you can actually say that hassle free and it has what lots of interfaces lots of interfaces added to the what toolkit added to the gui toolkit which is the thing that gui toolkit so in case if you don't know toolkit what is a toolkit very simple it's an english word right you have seen electrical engineers, you have seen mechanical engineers, you have seen all what not of them. They will carry a toolkit where they keep their tools, obviously. An electrical engineer will have maybe a tester, he will have a multimeter, he will have some stuff. So that's their toolkit. So for you as a programmer, you will need to have a toolkit. And this is it. Fine. So apart from this now, since it's most commonly used now, that means there are other what modules or libraries that are available. Okay, so other libraries available includes what other what models or Python libraries. Does mouse use GUI when we use mouse that inside mouse is GUI used or is it work on different principles? Okay, uh, Chaudhry, I think what you're asking is is mouse using GUI? Obviously, it's GUI, Chaudhry, because if you watch keyboard, actually, if you see some programmers, right, or if you want to become, if you want to sound geek technical, right, in front of non programmers, what do you do? You use keyboard. They will get worried. Like, see, if I say all tab, so you can see all my open stuff, right? So like that. So I have migrated to this without what? 
without in my mouth yes or no so but people will find this so funny okay they were like okay what is this guy doing actually you see so i'm toggling this so obviously the essence of this actually is to simplify your work and that was what microsoft had in mind okay when they said they want to create a personal computer okay so obviously uh this uses both but majority of the time it is purely on what gui that's why mouse was meant as a dragging what are the functions of mouse drag and drop pointing clicking double clicking right clicking like that that's the mouse the function of a mouse so it is mostly an input device as well as your keyboard but what's the main advantage here mouse is flexible drag and drop pointing clicking double clicking right clicking yes or no that's why we use mouse so if you want to enter characters obviously use keyboard keyboard is extended can do all the work of python for mouse also so other models in what or the core python libraries okay includes what in r i don't know if you've heard of kiwi yeah see the way they pronounce it is actually kiwi okay kiwi k-i-v-y okay let me write it again k-i-v-y so we take a help from google now and check them out okay one of my students is uh, he learned this python qt and he's using it to build some awesome application and we have wx python it's like widget python okay and um let's let's check okay quickly so if you go here now okay let's search for uh it's called kiwi right k-i-v-y so if you check here so it's a cross-platform python framework for nui development okay runs on linux windows this and that you can use the same code so you see it here free open source for developing mobile apps or other multi-touch applications with natural world user interface done next is called what python qt yes or no so look at python qt uh is together i think is qt like this fine so again design gui with python so this is the official de uh, de desktop uh, official documentation okay so for binding this and that is python qt for free obviously it's free actually okay it's a free software developed by the british firm riverbank computing all right so again so this is free okay so you can accept cookies wow if you ask if you're scared of snake sorry i will close this okay so see this guy is programming and python is coming okay python barote and you can actually use it to build even artificial intelligence some stuff and things like that okay so this is fine and this is cool all right so the next one is uh wx python right so wx python so w sorry wx python yeah is there okay so again if you see this it says welcome to this wx python so you can actually compare them even pyqt is there example exactly that's what is called python qt yes pyqt is called python qt so you can see this wx python again is a wrapper whatever or is a wrapper for cross-platform gui api wx widget for python programming language it's one of the alternative to what one of the what alternative to think that fine all right so this is done let's continue now we have seen that other flavors exist and amongst them people prefer tinta so since we know in that tinta we need to understand certain things before we create our first application there's something we call widgets so what are widgets okay in nigeria we have people we call bridgets so they are not bridgets bridget if you are listening is not your name okay so what are widgets okay you can say widget. widget okay fine so in python let's say we say widget in tinkta right in tinkta okay is what okay so widgets actually in tinkta widgets in tinkta refers to what it's an umbrella term for what element of what gui application okay. gui apps that provide various control providing various control various control such as what uh -huh. labels so we're going to see the first one labels buttons combo button or combo boxes check boxes uh, uh, do you think don't you think this is looking like uh, some html tags yes or no guys like i mean check boxes you can actually create this yes or no you can even create uh, menu drops also or menu bars what else radio buttons 
etc. Fine. Now, this helps you to interact with what? Tinta. All right? Because with all this now, it makes more sense. So, in every Tinta program, every Tinta program, note, every Tinta program has a basic structure. So, what is the structure? Basic structure. It can be more than this, right? Basic structure of what? A Tinta program. T K I N T R Tinta program or application. There are three major steps actually. Okay, I mean three basic steps or models which you have to import. The first one, okay, we say step one. You have to step two. You have to and step three. You do something else. So people will say also step four, but okay. So the major things here is first you have to import Tinta models. Every basic program has this. You have to import Tinta models. Like the way you imported regular expression, guys, import array. After that, you have to create an entry, okay? Create the main window entry for your GUI, for the GUI. Then you can add widgets to the stuff. So this, I actually want to call it part of, maybe I can call it uh, optional, okay? This is optional. Before I get there, I make it optional. Because if I don't need this, actually, I can go to the last step. Which is what? The calling the main event loop. Okay. Um, I'll say calling the main event loop. Or you, okay, you can actually create the main event loop, no problem. Fine. Main event loop. So it's gonna have that keyword as loop actually. So this is done. This optional partner can be you add widgets, right? To the app. So I can actually create an app without what? Labels, without combo button. Yes or no, guys? Fine. Just to print hello world inside that. No worries. So if this is the case, we need to look at what? What those widgets contain before we run our first program. Okay. So let's take a simple example, understanding these widgets. All right. So we take some example here, say, okay, Tinta widgets. And this now we have the widgets and we have some description that tells us about what the widgets are. So we have description. So we said widgets consist of blah, 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 blah. First one, labels. So what are labels? What are they used for? Used to display. To do what? Display text. You remember when you say input type equal text? Exactly, you have created a label. Used to display text, not only text, or images. Graphics, so I use graphics now. On the screen. No more in the console, right? Fine. Second one, button. Some people call it button, okay, button. Used to do what? Add buttons used to add buttons yes or no to your what application now the third one and i might not give you all of them anyway many of them are there online canvas so what is canvas actually canvas is similar to your what sandbox where you draw so it's a sandbox or a play area yes or no what is use of html sandbox to draw, to draw, or to render pictures. So to draw pictures, sorry, somebody will say this fellow cannot spell draw. You cannot write draw. <laughs> to draw, what? Pictures. And uh, other graphics also, and other graphics, right? Say you can draw emojis, icons, and stuff, right? Other graphics, no worries. And you look up your combo box, radio button, and things. You know the essence of a combo box, actually, right? It's a drop down arrow which you have available options to select from. So that is your combo box. Combo box. No worries. So we see them practically fine. So, and etc. etc. There are lots of them. So now, till here, let's run our first 
a demo first Tinta program. No worries. Head over to this guy. Call this up. Okay. Now save this. I hope you're able to follow it in here. Clear entire screen. So I since I want to explain this business and I'm gonna comment this out now. Okay, so to focus here. Hello world in that program. Okay. So the first one. We are going to import all the necessary files. So since I'm using Python 3, I'm using small case, Tinkta. Okay, T-K-I-N-T-E-R. You remember my version of Python, obviously, 3.10, whatever, 3.10. So, and again, I'm going to import this. So even if I did not import this, actually, this model, it will still run. Now, here you create the root. Yes or no, guys? So keep them side by side for now. Let's get back here. So the first one, import Tinkta model. Done. Second, create the main window for the GUI. So this is the main window object created. Now, this is optional also, so I can remove it. Please listen. I remove it. Adding labels also, I can actually remove this. But please look here. If I remove this, please listen. And then look at the last step, step four main loop the entry point to run your stuff okay it's actually called main loop only main loop now let me comment this out and let's run this f5 did you see here you have created it actually so i maximize this now hmm? now please pay attention look at this thing here where my cursor is pointing it says tk okay i dragged it now look here guys tk with something like a feather tk but there is no title and inside the body, there is nothing there. I ended up drawing my first word, GUI. Okay? So because of this, I have to add all these things. Now, now you got the steps. So I minimize this guy. Maximize this one screen at a time. Now I'll go and comment this guy out. So instead of that, TK, I'm going to see my first program. Similar to when you use the head tag. A title tag, sorry, in your HTML. Okay? So now, and then I'm going to use the label. What do I want to print inside that? I want to print what? Hello world. Don't worry. Dot pack. I will tell you what this pack does. Okay. It's contained under some methods. Don't worry. We will come to that later. Okay. So actually this pack is contained in this thing. It's called, uh, let me go up and show you. It's called geometry management. Okay. Okay. Here. Don't worry. We want, by default, actually we want this to be uh, packed together in rows and columns. So leave that for now. We also have grid. So for now, let's let's compact everything in rows and columns. So that's why we use this pack method. No worries. And with this now, on this note now, let's run this program. Now it's no longer printing in the console as you can see. It's running here. So this is it. Maximize this. So you see now my first program has the title and see hello world. Maximize this. See hello world inside the body, and look at my first program. Okay. So I have it there as the title, and I have hello world in the body. Fine done close it no worries so we have actually created our first program okay so before we look at the contents of frame and stuff like that okay we need to understand um what are widgets okay like the frame and stuff okay guys so if you look at the explanation of what widget class we look at widget class before we look at this and then we look at this pack which i call the geometry method so the first one is done so the next here is to look we are going to look into what mm. next we are going to look into please look here widget is done so we are going to look into widget class okay so what was the first thing we looked into actually what was those things called widget what methods is it okay no worries now let's look at the widget classes all right so next same thing this from is done let's look at widget classes widget classes fine couple of things here we have the widgets and we have the description of what they are doing so I'm going to explain only the basic ones which we are going to use and then the rest we have to see. Okay. So we explain label actually. 
label actually okay yes sorry guys they are together okay yeah label is done that is done so i needed to explain framing that first is fine so simply i will just tell you about frame and that's it okay so frame is on that still yeah which is class only so in frame you can actually have what a container to hold and organize widgets that's all so mostly if i say here frame no need actually of this table frame container for what to hold and what organize the widgets so now you remember all the, all the definition of your widgets the definition all right so this is what we needed for now and then there also you have other stuff like menu you see menu actually as the name suggests creates all kinds of menu using the application text gives you an editable multi-line it's like when you say a uh, text area by using your html tag and you have scroll bar obviously so it's the name is self descri uh, describable if such word exists this case is self describable all right so let's run the second program and then you'll understand better all right so this is done i'm going to comment it out and we start with the second one okay now second one okay uh here comment this guy out and let's see okay everything is closed now look here guys again remember i told you like you can actually ignore to import this also it doesn't matter so in this case now i did not need to import it but here obviously you create the what root window find the entry point now set the title i have done this before so no need i'm gonna set it my nice second program now i'm using this frame right so what did i tell you frame will do frame will hold it to make you to organize the work yes or no fine organize all the widgets in a particular think of it as a frame actually in html you know the use of frames right and iframes inline frames no worries and then this pack like i said is one of the most geometry methods okay so what it does you actually says okay fine i want you kind of uh, it's under geometry management and we see that later okay so i'm gonna pack all my widgets in rows and columns so it's like a matrix now and then I needed a button, which is a widget. So inside here, I want a button that will be actionable. Now, there is no action that is passed to this button, okay? But let that look like a button so that when I click on it, it should depress. Yes or no? And then I put the call this entry to my loop. No worries. So I press F5. Now you see it's here. Maximize this. You see it's here. So when I click, you see it's acting like a button now. Okay? fine it's acting like a button so my second program title variety and everything but you see now the widget is covering the entire screen if we minimize it goes and stays here so in the next one we try to resize this now okay squash it increase the size okay and then we will continue with that so this is fine next okay so second program i hope you're able to follow let's go to the next one so here we need to create a think that button now please listen okay and here now i need to set what the geometry instead of just saying here root look here guys root doc is a we use yes right or tk create a root window i now need to just instead say okay how much whatever this creates root window i now need to use this object of root window which i've created and set the size of the window which i wanted to open i hope you're able to follow comment this out fine so i was okay fine i wanted a square window of 150 by 150 now please listen and i'm using this destroy method such that when i click on this on the button we says click now i can say click to disappear when i click on that this is going to disappear magic yes okay so and i want this to be set to top usually by default it to go to top guys guys by default it to go to top so i can say top left should i let me see if left is an argument let me see okay before let's run top first and see by default it's actually top so no need i'll change it back to left fine and then i call the main loop no worries so let's run this now you see exactly it's come to left okay see here click to disappear destroyed let me change it back to top i'll change to top okay and f5 now you see where it is okay i think left came at the center now maximize this to understand so you see here click to disappear is gone 
And when we run this, please listen, when we run this, we have a size. Can you see that? So instead of making it a square, let me make it to span horizontally, like, like longer horizontally, and then let it shorten vertically. So what I will do here, I can say, okay, fine. I want this to be more actually, right? I can say uh, 350 by 150, okay? Now, when I run this now, see here, you got the point now. So it's going to give me some in, uh, window to work on. And by the way, I did not add title. It's, that's why you see TK here. Fine. You add title. No worries. So this is done. Okay, guys. So there's something we call team widgets. So for this, I'm going to leave this one running without clearing it. Okay. It's running. Okay. Now watch here. This is using, not using team widgets. So team widgets, we have to import it from TTK model. Don't worry. So I will run this again and I leave it open. Fine. I is running. You can see it here is running. So let's comment this out and run the next one. Okay. So the uh, the improvement in provision that this one has is that the button will have a different shape. Okay. So let's look at this. So whenever I import this, please look here. TTK model will automatically override the widget that is present in your data. So it will overshadow this guy now. It's like you're not importing it. Create the root node, no worries. Set the geometry. Let me make it now 350 again. Okay, by 150. Click now, no worries. The other one is click to destroy. Okay, fine. Instead of top, okay. Let me put it left. So we differentiate that. Let's save down. I don't know whether down is a valid argument. And now let's run this. Okay, we say F5. Now, sorry. Okay, must be top. Please look here. Must be top, bottom, left, or right. Okay, so nothing like down. Can you see that, guys? Top, bottom, left, or right. So, so you can say bottom, right? Okay, it's a bad, it's a it's bad side down. Okay, top, bottom, left, and right. So we change it here. Fine. Now run this. No worries. Now you see this. So let's keep them side by side. This one is running. And you see the funny part. Only one window can be active at a time. I hope you're able to follow, guys. So this is a prettified word widget. Or a button. Did you see, guys? When I hover over it, did you see? The color changes. Click. It disappears. Now run it again. So you see. You see? Color will appear. Because it is what? The word Prettified widget. So we call it what now? Teamed widget. Okay, fine. All right. And in the previous case, it was not prettified. It was just some funny button that appeared. Okay, this is fine. Until here is fine. So let's look at the last one for today and we wind up. Okay. So the last one says, please look here. I now want to use what now? Label. Okay, so this level, what I'm interested in, is I want to, I have set the dimension. Okay, guys. So in this case, now I can actually import this. Okay, so let me import TTK. Okay, so before I use this, I'm going to run it again. Okay, and then I'll comment this out and I'll use this guy. No worries. So this is fine. Oh, sorry. This is fine. Now I have set the dimension. For username, some label, okay? It has to be top and the text. What it will be displayed is username. Now, this place refers to location. X location from the container, from here. 40 pixels horizontally, 60 pixels vertically, okay? So this refers to your row and this refers to your column. So move it this way. 40% to the right, 60% down but to the bottom like that and we did for this also for the passport we wanted to create space between them so that they won't be mangled up right and for the submit same thing okay now but this is now what the 130 okay. so again you have seen this right some variable name no worries entry is what top and then which is 30 it place place it there a particular version and call the main view okay so let's run this now so you see something has appeared here right so now even if i enter welcome i i've not modified this the the password will still be there let's say uh maybe like um, it will still be there and when i click it's not linking to anything remember we have not connected anything to database we have not done anything and we have not even changed this to be what type of what password okay so we said here is a text we contain password and this we contain this and now remember how it was run it again See how it was, the button is so funny. 
okay now use this now teamed uh import okay run it now now you see how the button is looking like and you see the interface is beautiful now yes or no just by changing it from what ordinary what team to oh, sorry ordinary uh tinta whatever gui to a teamed gui so it has beautified this and it's looking like that effect now of a button is there okay so and the text also the font and whatever change okay so yes on this note we will wind up all right and then i will see you again tomorrow okay and we continue with this so after that uh you should be able to have a clear picture of what we are actually doing so before i wind up let's review what we just did today okay so we started by first looking at some missing notes and did we do justice to that done did it do justice to this done this done subsection sub function done match done okay they will say sir i did not know what you're talking about it is everything regular expressions with missing the done search function done split function done subs done match done this done introduce the concept of what gui programming understood the difference between gui and cui okay worked on a couple of uh, examples basics of this think that widget done widget class is done geometry management not done Tinta button, actually, we used that, but we did not study them anyway. So, geometry management, yes, we only use now what? What? Pack. So, pack only, yes, we studied. Only pack, we've seen. So, tomorrow, we will look into maybe grid and what place. Okay, guys? Fine. Now, I think we have used many of them, but no worries. Tinta button, team widgets, Tinta levels. Okay? Fine. So, on this note, I want to thank you guys for listening. And, um... Ensure you go through the tutorials, implement this. We have not even gone halfway. Okay, so when we reach day 40, then we know, oh wow, we have done so much. This is just 20th day. So 40% completed. We still have a long way to go. Exactly 30 days remaining. Okay, bye for now, guys. If you have any questions, any suggestions, feel free to get back to me. All right, and in the absence of that, have a nice weekend. Sorry, <laughs> have a nice day. Bye for now.